Now that you've installed your ShockWiz, it's time to go for a ride and learn how to get the most from the data ShockWiz collects. Connect ShockWiz to the ShockWiz app prior to riding to verify proper function. Cycle the suspension to check that the travel percentage reported in the app is responding to the movement and that the travel percentage is reporting between negative 3 to 3% when the suspension is unweighted and fully extended. For some fork or shock models, you may need to pull up to full extension to check, as some suspension will rest into its travel slightly when unweighted. If outside of the acceptable range, hold the suspension to full extension and tap shock travel to reset the baseline air pressure. Within the app, you can view detailed information about each tuning style. Read each one to determine what style best fits your riding. Changing from one style to another can be done at any time, and doing so will recalculate any existing ride data, producing a new shock tuning score and set of suggestions. To get the most from ShockWiz, choose a trail that offers varied terrain, with both uphill and downhill sections. The more suspension movement that ShockWiz detects, the more data it gathers, generating tuning suggestions more quickly. While riding with ShockWiz, do not have the suspension locked out, change between open or pedal modes, or make any other damping or air pressure change without starting a new session. Failure to start a new session after making an adjustment will greatly reduce the effectiveness of ShockWiz. Viewing the data from ShockWiz can be done trailside or after riding. When you open the app, it may take a few moments for the data to appear. This is normal. With the ride data loaded, view your shock tuning score. The shock tuning score gives you an indication of how well your suspension is currently set up and how much adjustment ShockWiz will suggest. Before acting on any of the suggestions provided by ShockWiz, it is recommended that you view confidence. Confidence reflects the amount of data that ShockWiz has gathered during the current session. The more data ShockWiz has collected, the higher the percentage will be and the more you can trust the tuning suggestions. It is not recommended that you act on any tuning suggestions until confidence reads 50% or higher. For guidance on how to increase confidence, view What to Ride Next. What to Ride Next displays the type of riding you need to perform in order to obtain higher quality feedback. If needed, continue riding to allow ShockWiz to collect more data. Once ShockWiz has collected enough data, tap Suggestions to view the recommended changes. The ShockWiz app uses slider bars to indicate how much adjustment is needed. A green indicator means that the setting is OK and that no adjustment is needed. A yellow indicator requires slight adjustment. A red indicator requires considerable adjustment. Tap on any suggestion for more information. This page offers information on how to make the adjustment how much adjustment is needed, what that change will feel like, and a notice to remind you what to do within the app, such as marking baseline air pressure once the adjustment has been made. When making adjustments, it is recommended that they be made in the same order that the suggestions are shown in the app. Baseline air pressure and air spring ramp should be tuned as a pair. All other adjustments should be made individually and you must start a new session after making each change. For example, if changes are suggested for baseline air pressure and air spring ramp, make the adjustments per your fork or shock manufacturer's instructions. After making these adjustments, complete the calibration wizard to remeasure the compression ratio and remark baseline air pressure. You are now ready to go for another ride session. After riding, if the suggestion indicators show OK, move on to the next suggestion. After making any suggested adjustment, always review the notice on that suggestion information page to find your next steps. 
Continue reviewing suggestions in the order displayed and making adjustments until you are satisfied with your suspension settings. Check out all the latest ShockWiz tips and tricks at ShockWiz.com.